you're thinking that food is impacting your acne and you really want to create an anti-acne diet plan, but you're not sure of where to start. Today, I'm going to be outlining the ideal characteristics of an anti-acne diet plan for you. I'm Jill Therese, and after 15 years of acne struggles, I finally cleared my skin naturally. I created my acne clearing program, The Clear Code, to help you do the same. Six and a half years and thousands of clients later, I've made it my life's work to get you clear skin without pills, creams, and or crazy hormones. So make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell to be notified when I post a new video. In my acne clearing program, The Clear Code, I give my clients 60 days of a clear skin diet plan. And today I'm gonna to be sharing the exact guidelines that I use to create that diet plan for you so that you can do it at home as well. Okay, so let's jump in. Number one, you want to eat a low glycemic diet, AKA low sugar. This does not mean that you can never have a cookie again or never have a donut again or never have pizza again. But let's just quickly walk through a common daily diet for you. So let's say you start out in the morning with something like a donut with coffee. And then for lunch you have some like pizza with maybe some french fries or even like a little green salad. And then for dinner you have pasta with red sauce. Now. Is that the worst thing in the entire world? No, absolutely not. But all of those foods, everything I just outlined has a significant amount of sugar in it. And blood sugar really impacts your acne. On this note, question for you. Do you have a sweet tooth? Type yes below if so, because I wanna support you and blood sugar and acne are super freaking linked. <laughs> Here's how a high glycemic diet negatively impacts your blood sugar. Basically, the capacity of each food to raise your blood glucose levels is measured as the glycemic index. Now, so for example, what does that mean? One teaspoon, for example, of pure white sugar has a glycemic index of 100. It raises your blood sugar really, really fast. Something like kale or broccoli has a really low glycemic index. So it's going to raise, it might not even, it's going to have like an infinitesimal raised on your blood sugar. It's not going to impact you that much versus something like Skittles, which is gonna have a really big impact on your acne. So eating a big handful of Skittles, for example, on an empty stomach is gonna skyrocket your blood sugar, which you don't want. So how does this relate back to your acne? Androgen receptor receptivity is triggered by high insulin levels in the body. So basically, higher blood sugar levels, so eating, let's say eating donuts all day, I know you're not doing that, but like let's pretend you're eating donuts all day. Eating donuts all day, is going to lead, lead to higher levels of blood sugar in your system, which leads to higher insulin levels. And then from there, an opening of the androgen receptor occurs, which forces it to become receptive to the acnogenic molecules and or androgenic molecules, which negatively impact your skin and directly lead to acne. I have a video about androgens and acne right above my head, so you can check that out. So what does a low glycemic diet really mean? You want to try to avoid, now don't cry, but just, just hang with me here for a second. You want to try to avoid all things like cookies, cakes, pastas, white breads, white flours, crackers, tortilla chips, anything that looks like it's made of white flour, you want to try to avoid. And obviously things like Skittles, multiple donuts, brownies a day. And even when you do that, I have to tell you, I think a lot... A lot of people say, well, how am I, am I going to faint if I'm not eating enough sugar? There's so many things with sugar in it, like ketchup has a ton of sugar. So obviously be like careful and safe with your body. And if you have any type of like diabetes or low glyce hypoglycemia, so low blood sugar, always talk to your doctor first. But generally speaking, removing a ton of artificial sugars and white sugars, white flours is going to have a huge impact on your skin because of what we just talked about. And you really want to, this leads us to our second characteristic of an anti-acne diet plan, have your daily diet consist of 60 to 70 percent vegetables, focusing on green cruciferous vegetables to help with estrogen detoxification. If you're used to consuming a diet that we just talked about, so high in sugar, high in white flours, etc., simply taking this one action step, replacing all of your white flours, white sugar, etc., and moving to a diet high in fruits and veggies is going to positively impact your skin. Just the end. 
the way I used to eat before I healed my acne naturally was real bad. And it led to so many issues. I had nutrient deficiencies. I had so many gut health issues, which we're going to talk about in a second. And it was why I was breaking out on my face all the time. And moving over to a plant-based diet was really transformative. So what can you do? You're like, okay, cool, Jill, eat more veggies. That's fun. Here's kind of the action step for that. At your next meal, let's say you're eating dinner right now and you're like scrolling around on YouTube and you found me. Hi, welcome. What I want you to do right now is look at your plate and ask yourself, okay, how much of this plate is made up of vegetables? How many veggies are on this plate? Is there zero? Am I eating pizza? Or am I having a really big salad with cucumbers, tomato, carrots, avocados, lentils? What is this meal made of? And whatever you're eating right now, enjoy it. Life is short, enjoy. But for the next meal, ask yourself, how can I add more veggies to this plate? I do this every single day, especially for breakfast. Obviously I want a freaking donut, but I'm gonna go get eggs. And I usually ask myself, okay, how many veggies can I put in here? What can I put in here? What's in the fridge? I'll take anything. It's like a kitchen sink omelet every morning. It'll be kale, asparagus, spinach, and then I'll have some um, avocado on the side, some berries. Like just start to crowd out the bad stuff with delicious vegetables and fruits, okay? Really great vegetables that you wanna make sure you add into your anti-acne diet plan are cruciferous vegetables, kale, broccoli, Cruciferous vegetables have a considerable amount of fiber. They'll help you feel satisfied and full, which will ultimately lead to better food decisions daily because there isn't this continual crash and rise of blood glucose levels because these cruciferous vegetables are helping you out. They're rich in vitamins and minerals like vitamins A, K, folate, and they also have a ton of vitamins A and C. They really support your liver process. They really support estrogen detoxification. If you have jawline acne, I have a few videos, I'll put them above and below, about jawline acne. These cruciferous vegetables can really help support you heal some of this jawline acne. Feature number three in the anti-acne diet plan is to make sure that you are eating the type of foods that will support healthy digestion, aka you are pooing a lot. Yes, I just said pooing, we're gonna accept it going to move forward. Now, here's a little story about my poo situation because I know that's obviously why you're here to learn about my digestion, right? <laughs> Just kidding. Anyways, my mom's going to be upset about me sharing these intimate details, but I think they're important. So I, you're going to giggle. I hope you giggle. I have this fear of pooping in public. I really, it's not my jam. I don't like it. It's scary and weird. And so I distinctly remember being a little girl and my mom standing over me in some public place and her like kind of looking down at me and pointing and being like, chill, you have to go to the bathroom. This is ridiculous. And me being like, no, I'm not doing it. Which would lead to extensive constipation throughout my entire childhood. And then once I got acne, things got even worse. The first thing they did when I went to the doctors, when I was struggling with my skin, I wanted help from the dermatologist, was they prescribed antibiotics. Monocycline, dioxycycline, tetracycline, all the cyclins. And I took them all the time, every day, for years. And when I tell you that I was incredibly constipated for years, that's real. And once I started to learn about this huge link between your gut and your acne, it was like, a whole world open up. And I have a video, I'll share it above my head, about probiotics and acne. So I won't go crazy into that right now. But suffice it to say, I did a bunch of research and there were all these doctors a long time ago that discovered that certain bacterial cultures, lactobacillus, acidophilus, for example, positively impacted not only the gut, but then as a result, the skin. And when I learned these things, it was like everything came together in my mind because I had struggled with such bad digestion for my whole life and I really knew in my like gut and soul that this was kind of the root issue. I got really pumped because I was like, oh, I can take action on this. Frick yes. And I completely overhauled my diet from a gut perspective. I began to add in probiotics daily. I took a pretty significant probiotic daily. I grabbed a ton of non-dairy and sometimes dairy yogurt. That's another story for another day, yogurt and dairy. 
I grabbed kimchi, I started with sauerkraut, I started with kombucha, all these different types of fermented foods I was really, really into. And like the impact that it had on my digestion and my regularity was like, and the coolest part, which you're gonna love, listen, listen, this is the coolest part ever in my entire life. All of my forehead acne within 30 days was completely gone. I had had these tiny little bumps all across my forehead essentially for about 10 years, solid. Like if you looked at me face front, you wouldn't see that I was breaking out necessarily, but if you looked like a little bit to the side and in the sun with texture, it was like covered with bumps and breakouts. The second I healed my gut digestion, my forehead acne was gone, which led me to face mapping, which you can find another video about that above me, and led me here. So. Make sure your anti-acne diet plan has a ton of healthy foods that support your digestion, probiotics, all the things. The fourth step that you want to take when you're creating your anti-acne diet plan is to make sure you avoid common food allergies and or gut irritants for at least two to three weeks and see how it impacts your skin. What is a good list of these items, for example? Avoid things like dairy, gluten, eggs, soy, corn, peanuts, shellfish, and nightshades. I know you just had a very strong reaction and you're like, chill, eggs and cheese. And you're also like, what's nightshades? So I'm gonna address those two questions really quickly. When I say avoid, I do not mean never eat a cookie again or never have cheese again. I always tell my clients, one cupcake does not a breakout make. There is no reason to feel afraid of food or to fear what you're eating, okay? That being said, there are a few reasons removing these few items for at least three weeks in a pretty consistent manner will give you a lot of clarity about your acne and your skin. Number one, removing these items for about three to four weeks. In my program, we do a four to six. But I think for you, just doing it at home, seeing if your food really is impacting your skin, you could just try it for three weeks. Removing these things for three weeks and just judging the outcome based on really consistent steps is gonna give you a lot of clarity. And guess what? An amazing byproduct of removing all these foods and adding in a bunch of fruits and veg vegetables and avoiding artificial sugars and going to the bathroom a lot because you're eating a ton of probiotics, etc. you're gonna feel so freaking amazing you're not gonna to want to go back to eating crap. But anyways, not the point. Here are a few reasons removing those items can be really, really good for you and your body and your skin. Number one, if you're struggling with any type of blood sugar management issue, which I would imagine you may be because you're here and you found me, and that's usually a common issue, having a ton of foods like gluten, dairy, um, gluten, dairy, and sugar, they really can mess with your blood sugar management issues which just overall negatively impacts your acne. So removing these items is gonna benefit you on so many different levels from a gut perspective and also blood sugar, hormones, everything. Reason number two is that if you've been struggling with any type of leaky gut issue, so intestinal permeability is the kind of medical term for it. So the healthy lining of your gut and your intestines has either been damaged or stripped of healthy bacteria due to chronic antibiotic use, for example, you're gonna be struggling with common nutrition nutrition deficiencies. You're gonna have constipation, you're gonna have diarrhea, you're gonna have a little bit of IBS. So removing these common gut irritants is only gonna to help to heal you. It might be a little hard for a few weeks, but once you get really clear, beautiful, glowing skin as a result of your action steps, I think they'll be worth it. And then the best part, is that over time you can start to add these things back in. That's what we do in my program, The Clear Code. If you're interested, you can apply via the link below. But basically you don't have to never eat delicious foods again. It's just about figuring out what's triggering you by removing a bunch of bad stuff and then slowly adding things back in. So for example, for me, dairy does not impact my skin at all. Zero impact. Gluten and sugar, however, big impact. So I can eat a lot of cheese, I have cream in the morning, but for me, if I have too much sugar, too much gluten, and I'm like eating that a ton consistently, I'll see it in my skin. The second question is what are nightshade vegetables? Nightshade veggies can be all different types of herbs, plants, trees. A few examples are tomatoes, potatoes, bell peppers, eggplants, goji berries, pimento, paprika. The list kind of goes on and on. And Nightshade veggies can create an inflammatory chain reaction in your skin because you're either a little or a lot allergic to them, or you have an autoimmune reaction when you eat them that's contributing to these issues for you. 
The last feature of your anti-acne diet plan should be to include high quality proteins like lentils and or salmon into your daily diet. Protein sources like chicken nuggets, low quality beef, low quality chicken are in general just not gonna support your acne clearing journey. They're just not. They're void of nutrients. They probably have a lot of negative, bad hormones and antibiotics in them. So grabbing high quality proteins like lentils and salmon in your dish full of veggies now is going to fill you up with fiber, a bunch of vitamins, a bunch of minerals. It's gonna be full of omega-3 anti-inflammatories and will really support blood sugar management. So above all else, if you do purchase chicken or beef, just be really sure and clear to source it, to make sure it's ethically sourced. So for all beef and chicken, you want pasture-raised, antibiotic-free, hormone-free, organic, um, is there one more? I think there's one more. For fish, you want wild cod. Now that you have those five action steps to create your anti-acne diet plan, would you like a detailed and customized plan to heal your acne naturally? If so, this is exactly what we do in my program, The Clear Code. So we create your unique clear skin plan. So if you're interested in having me help you do that, I would be honored and I would love to. So apply to the program via the link below. Also, do you want more information on how to get to the root cause of your breakouts? Click the link below to take a 30 second 10 question acne personality quiz and discover your acne type. Plus download three recipes and three action steps you can take to start healing your skin today. Also, if you want to join a safe, private, empathetic community of people struggling with acne just like you, we have a private Facebook group where you can meet other people struggling with skin stuff as well. So find the link below for that. If you liked this video, Please type yes below. Let me know that you're here, that it resonated with you. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments and make sure to share this with anyone that you feel might benefit from it. And as always, make sure you subscribe, hit the bell to be notified when I post a new video and I'll see you next time. Bye.